everybody, this is Robert F. Benton, Nissan at Tiffany Springs. Welcome to episode one of Meet the Team. Would like to introduce you to Cecilia. She's got an amazing brand right now. It's really up and hopping right now. A lot of people in interaction. It's called Go See Cecilia. Yes, sir, it is. Welcome to episode one. Thank you very much for having me and for making me first. Smart man. You are so welcome. So really quick, Cecilia, just wanted a really quick question. What did you do before getting into the car business? Well, the past couple of years, I've actually spent uh, working in politics. Really? So yeah, I've done a lot of campaign work. I've done a lot of work with uh, different or numerous organizations, as well as issue-driven uh, work, a lot of grassroots things. So just really a laborer in, pol in the political field. Oh, wow. That's pretty interesting. So awesome. Cecilia, what do you love about working in at a car dealership in the car industry? Well, I guess that answer is twofold. Um, number one, I really love um, putting dreams in driveway. I know it's a very cliche statement, but I really love working with people and really love, you know, just helping their dreams come true as far as their vehicle. Uh, another thing I love, I really love the environment, um, the work environment. Of course, you know, there aren't very many women that sell cars. Um, but, and you know, mm -hmm. so all of my co-workers are male, but I mean, it's never a dull moment. They're very exciting. You guys are very nice. I mean, it's a, and it's just, it's just a lot of fun working with, working here with you guys. Yeah, very good. So what's your favorite car to sell and why? <sighs> I've been pondering on this one for a while. I'm kind of torn because the Nissan Rogue is my favorite Nissan vehicle. I just love it. I love the different features, the steering wheel. I love the trunk space, the hide and divide cargo trunk space. Um, I just really love the look of it. But uh, I have a Sentra, and oh, I really okay. love selling the Sentra for that reason, because okay. it's like, you know, putting more of my cars out there on the street. So I really like, I really like both of those two. Okay. Cecilia, you got a very up and coming, very powerful brand that's coming into play. A lot of things going on on Facebook. So what does Go See Cecilia mean for your customers? Well, what Go See Cecilia means for my customers is that they will know, they will understand that they will have a completely unique and pleasant car buying experience. Um, I know the connotations that come with being a car salesman and um, just the negativity that's surrounding the right. industry in, in general. And I kind of wanted to change that okay. image, not only because I'm a different kind of car salesman in look, but um, just in what I want to do as well, you know. And this is kind of an extension of what I did, you know, in politics because I did a lot of branding there. Okay. So I wanted to kind of make my car salesman experience my own, and I feel that that's a way that I can. Awesome, very good. So yeah, thank you so much for those. One last question before I let you go to go take care of all your customers that come in for Go See Cecilia. What advice can you give to potential customers that are coming in to see you to make their experience much more pleasurable? Okay. Um, I like to tell my customers to remember the three B's of car buying. Um, number one, be realistic and do your slash do your research. Um, come in, you know, it, doing your research will allow you to really get in, to really assess the market. Um, to see, you know, kind of get an idea of what values and what pay range vehicles are, so you can know what you kind of what you can afford and you know what may be out of your price range. Uh, number two, be prepared. Make sure you come in with all of your paperwork the first time, um, titles, uh, driver's license, insurance, any spiffs we may need. Uh, make sure you come uh, specs, spiffs, spiffs. Spec, spec. So what is it? What is it? <laughs> Any um anything Stips. else we ask for? Steps. Just what's it? Steps. 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 <laughs> okay, come in with your steps. Um, or anything else we may um ask for. That way, it can make your car buying experience go by a lot smoother, a lot quicker. Uh, no one really wants to be stuck at a car dealership all day. And uh, lastly, you know, be excited. I mean, you're getting a new car. Uh, I mean, I got me a new yeah. 2017 Sentra earlier this year. And, I mean, I'm excited. I love my car. I get excited every time I see her in my driveway looking all cute and her gun metallic. So, I mean, this is a fun experience. Not everyone gets the pleasure right. of getting a new vehicle. Exactly. So, I mean, be excited. You know, be prepared and be realistic. All right. Well, thank you so much, Cecilia, for joining us today on Episode 1. Ah! 
and uh, we're going to be looking forward to a lot more interviews with team members and even service advisors. We're going to be talking to different service techs about what you should be looking for on your car to keep it maintained and running properly for years to come. Hope you guys had a little bit of fun with this as much as we did. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode.